Today we're going to be talking about colors. We're going to look at three colors in particular. We're going to look at red, we're going to look at yellow, and we're going to look at blue. In your color palette you also have black and white. We're going to start with our primary colors. red, yellow, and blue. We're going to dip the tip of our brush in our paint, spread the paint out, and then we're going to rinse our brush. Scrub it on the bottom. Scrape it against the top of the rim, then crisscross on the sponge. Crisscross. That will dry your brush off and you can do the next color. Next we're going to go to yellow. Remember, scrape it on the bottom, drag it on the lip, and then crisscross on your sponge to dry your brush. Next, we're going to go to blue. Just dip the tip of your brush. You don't need a lot of paint, just a little. Next, we're going to look at our secondary colors. To make orange, you take a tiny bit of red, put it in your circle. Next, we're going to rinse, and then we're going to get a little bit of yellow, and we're going to blend those together. Next, we're going to make green. Green is a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of blue. You do not need a lot of blue to make green. It's more yellow than blue. So I'm going to put a little yellow down, rinse, then I'm going to get a teeny tiny bit of blue. I'm going to mix those together in my circle. The last color we're going to mix is purple or violet. We're going to take a little bit of red and a teeny tiny bit of blue again and we're going to mix that in our circle. I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to rinse. Then I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue. Now let's talk about warm and cool colors. In your color palette, I know that you have two warm and one cool, but we're going to mix our colors and make more colors. So we're going to start with red in the first square. That's going to be our first warm color that we use. Next, I'm going to add yellow. That's our second warm color that we're going to use. Next, we're going to make orange. Remember, 
orange is a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. Rinse between each color so that you don't mess up your paints. Next, I want to make pink. I'm going to take a little bit of red and a little bit of white and mix it in my last square. Now for our cool colors. We are gonna have to do a lot of mixing for these because the only cool color we have in our palette is blue. So let's start with blue. Next, we're gonna mix green. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow to my paper and mix it in my square. Next, I want to make blue green. So I'm going to add a lot of blue and a little bit of yellow to my square to make a blue green color. Last in this section, I'm going to make purple. So I need a little bit of red and a little bit of blue and I'm going to mix it together in my square. In this last section, we're going to talk about analogous colors. Analogous colors are neighbors on the color wheel. So any three colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. I'm going to mix red and yellow to make orange. So I'm going to start with my red over to the left. Now, all the way over to the right, I'm going to add my yellow. Now, in the middle, I'm going to add yellow first, and then I'm going to mix my red on top of it. Always add your lightest color first and then your darker color next. Be sure to rinse between each color, drying off on the sponge.
The last thing I'm going to let you guys do is I'm going to let you color in the letters. Any colors you want. I used my color mixing skills that I just learned so I could color my O's different colors. I'm going to use my red, yellow, and blue on the C, L, and R. And then I'm going to mix the O's with orange and green. There you have it, our warm, cool, primary, secondary, and analogous colors.